Hey everybody, what's going on this week on Once With A Week Guide? We're going to be taking a look at Nipix Tongue and Groove pliers and the three different styles that you can go ahead and purchase as far as water pumps or tongue and groove pliers, whatever you choose to call them. So, as always guys, uh, stick around and if you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool A Week Guy. If you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So what is it that we're going to be taking a look at this week? Well, if you ask me, there is plenty of tongue and groove pliers out there. More in particular, there's going to be the Nepix tongue and groove pliers, guys, which I happen to love so much. But the thing is, there's so many out there just for that brand that you have trouble choosing which ones. So this week, we're going to be taking a look at three different Nipix uh, tongue and groove pliers or pump pliers and see which one's the best choice for you. So let's bring them out. So let's go ahead and slide this baby right here. Two and three. So these are going to be the three items right here. Let's go ahead and zoom into these right there. So as you can tell right here, we're going to have the alligators 8801250. We're going to have the cobras right here, which are going to be the cobras 8701250. And then of course, we're going to have the cobras quick set right here, which is going to be the 8722250. So of course, these are going to be the same type of pliers just different models to it now of course all of the suppliers are going to be the same which are going to include they're all going to be made out of chrome vanadium electric steel forge multi-stage oil hardener now keep in mind guys that if you just buy american made these are made in germany so uh it's probably not going to correspond for you but in another note these are very well made tongue and groove pliers now if you're just a channel lock lover um you might want to stick around because there is some features that you might like for these tongue and groove pliers now another thing is going to be they're all the 250 millimeters which is going to be their equivalent to 10 inch uh pliers right here so they're all going to be 10 inch uh long right there that way they're all going to be in the same category so of course the heads are go going to have a polished finish as you can see which they're going to be nice and very well made now keep in mind that the jaws are all going to have the same design uh let's see if i could zoom in a tad bit more and as you can tell, the jaws are very well made. And of course, it has this nice little shape. That way you could grab nuts or a bolt, screws, whatever the case is, just a tad bit better. And of course, as you can see, all of them are going to be the same. Now, another feature that I happen to like about Nipix is going to be that they all have the same width or thickness of the of the pliers which is going to be a nice spot for narrow areas or hard to reach which they're all going to be quarter inch wide on all of them so that's a very nice feature right there to keep in mind now if you're having trouble trying to figure out which ones to get well stick around and let's get to it with that now of course uh they're all gonna offer the non-slip plastic coating now of course on this right side we're going to have the comfort grip now one thing that i have noticed was that let me zoom in real quick if you see this plastic non-slip right there it is kind of of a porous plastic so if you get any oils or anything like that it might stain it and they will stay in so make sure you clean that item right away which is like an orange red color which is very nice guys i happen to like it now another item that they offer is going to be the comfort grip right here which is going to be their blue and red signature now uh, another previous subscriber had mentioned that they use blue and red because it's the best colors to see that way if you drop it or leave it up in a ceiling towel you're able to spot it right away in the grass you're able to spot it and see uh, where your tongue and groove pliers are at now keep in mind that this is going to add a little bit of weight to it. So that's a small little increment, but not too much. And we'll get to that in a little bit, but it is a very nice design. And like I said, they are very well made tongue and groove pliers. Now, of course, all on all three of them, they're all gonna have the same jaw opening, which if you see right there, let's go ahead and 
open them all up and they're all going to be the two inch jaw opening right there so all three of them are going to open two inches now why did i pick the 250 which is the 250 millimeters or the 10 inch tongue and groove pliers i feel like the 10 inch tongue and groove pliers are just a well-rounded uh size pliers 12s are going to be too large and anything smaller than that in that case just use a crescent on that part but i just preferably like to use a 10 inch uh, tongue and groove pliers better than I would like to use any other. If you ever look in my back, I only carry the 10 inch. Uh, the only 12 inch that I carry is probably the flat spud uh, or the just the flat jaw uh, plier wrenches on that. Now, here we're gonna get into a couple of dissimilarities. So first of all, it's going to be the alligators right here to our very left side. Now this is going to be made out of a black atramentize a, a uh, coating right here which if you look at it it's going to be just a tad bit different dark color which on the cobras and the cobra quick set you're going to have a gray a trim a gray finish on it so if you could see right there it's just a tad bit let's go ahead and zoom into it and you can see just a tad bit different discoloration which is going to be a black and this is just two different grays on there uh so that's gonna be a couple dissimilarities that you're gonna get off the off the alligator pliers and the cobra and the cobra quick set are going to have the same color finish on that now the alligators and the cobras right here are going to weigh in 0.7 pounds and the cobra quick sets are going to weigh in at eight 0.8 pounds which it's going to be the comfort set of course uh it is going to be a tad bit uh different but like i said it's just a small amount nothing too crazy but keep in mind that 0.1 pound does make a difference in the long run when you're carrying a bunch of tools in your tool bag so that's a small dissimil dissimilarity now we're going to get into the major part and what makes all three of them different components to it now of course the alligator pliers right here the 8801250 are only going to have nine adjustments now if you look closely these nine adjustments are going to be set right here so you're going to have to open them up all the way and then you just go ahead and slide it all the way to the bottom now keep in mind it is going to open up to two inches now that's one neat feature so if you're a channel lock lover or other tongue and groove pliers this is going to be the style you just go ahead and use one hand and they go ahead and close up and you just go ahead and open them up however you want it so that's a nice little feature that is going to be a different uh and of course like i say you're only gonna have nine different settings now we're going to get into the Cobras 8701250. Now these are going to be what I got introduced into the Nepix brand first. And these are going to be my very first Nepix tongue and groove pliers. Now these are a newer, the newer ones that I have purchased just for the video. Now let's go ahead and zoom into the video. And as you can tell the teeth right here, they are fine teeth. And they are going to able to adjust with a push of a button right there. And you're going to be able to adjust it. And these pliers aren't going anywhere they're going to stay right where you want it you're going to have a total of 25 adjustments 25 adjustments that goes up to two inch and anything in between that so that's a very huge difference guys that way you can be more precise uh whatever bolts nuts screws whatever you're using fasteners or if you're taking off uh you're going to be able to adjust it just a tad bit better so you go ahead and put the bolt right there and then you just adjust it to where you need it and then you let go and it locks into place and then you're going to be able to grab on and just tighten it up and go now a small thing that does bother me or is a little tedious thing is that whenever i want it back to the regular or the first setting it's not like the alligators i'm not able to just go ahead and use one hand and put it back uh you you actually have to press the button and adjust it so it's a small item that you have to get used to but it is a very neat feature as far as locking that way it doesn't go or lose your position to where it was now that's going to be that now the last one's going to be the cobra quick sets now let's go ahead and zoom into the quick set and as you can tell the teeth right here are more grooved and looks more like a shark fin in the very back let me see if y'all could see that right there and if you look at the nipix uh 8701250 right here the original cobras they're gonna go straight out so the feature of that uh shark looking fins right there you're still gonna have 
25 adjustments and you're still gonna open at two inches but the cool thing is is that you're able to just slide it and lock it into place once you pull back so that's the neat feature about them so let me go ahead and show you real quick so of course you're gonna be able to just grab it press it and then after that you could slide it to wherever you want and it's gonna adjust it and then once you once you pull back you're gonna be able to hear the click right there so it locks into position and you're not going to be able to lose that positioning so that's another neat feature instead of having to push up and then it's going to lock and you're not going to be able to keep on pushing up or adjusting so you have to press it again and lock it so that's going to be the main difference on the cobra quick set right here the 872250 and honestly it is a pretty neat little feature and it's something that as well you just have to get used to it so what's going to be the price point on all three of them well right now as as of this video posted up uh, you are looking at the alligators uh, without the comfort grip which is the non-slip plastic are going to run you $33 and one penny and the comfort grips gonna run you $24 and one penny now as the Cobras are gonna run you $32 and 77 cents and $38 and 49 cents now the Cobra quick sets are gonna run you $37 and 77 cents and the comfort grip are going to run you $36 and one cent on it so keep in mind guys these are gonna be a couple differences so if you're having a hard time choosing or picking what type of Nipix uh, pliers you want to go with. This is going to be a small guy. Let me know in the comments below what Nipix you currently carry or what type of tongue and groove pliers you carry. So of course guys, these are going to be three of the items and they're great looking items and great working items. So as always guys, let me know what you think in the comments below and thanks for watching. One tool a week guys.